what is up guys welcome back to a new video here on the channel in this video i'll show you how to install f1 multiviewer f1 multiviewer is an amazing program for any f1 fan f2 fan indycar fan and nascar fan it's a program that makes you able to you basically build your own pit wall on your computer uh, with onboard cameras now that's of course not available for f2 and f3 you can still watch the races through the program though but with indycar and formula one and also uh, the world endurance championship you can actually make basically build your own pit wall um, so you may see when you're watching formula one in the paddock you can see the all of the team engineers and yeah the team engineers you have the main uh main uh, main f1 stream plane and then they have the onboards of their drivers and possibly something else you can also have um the driver tracker or the, the track map all at the same time obviously you can see the onboard cameras with f1 tv but with f1 multiviewer you can also use them uh, see all of the onboards at the same time now be aware because this requires an f1 tv pro subscription to actually use this but to install it just go to the link in my description to multiviewer.app and click download multiviewer you want to choose your operating system in my case it's windows and i recommend just taking the installer once the installer is downloaded, you just want to click your downloads and you want to run the setup file. So they will come up like this. I already have it installed, but that doesn't matter. So you can see here we have IndyCar and we also have um, World Endurance Championship. So obviously, if you want to watch with IndyCar or WEC, you sign in with those accounts and i think you can actually sign in with multiple accounts at once you can have if you watch all of the car series you can have the f1 and the indy i'm gonna sign in with my f1 tv account and i will be back once that's done so this is what it should look like once you're actually in the program you can change here so i have for f1 and then if you have one to watch indycar you just click multi, uh, multi viewer for indycar and then you need to log into your uh, IndyCar Live um, account. So this basically works if you don't want to use with the, if you just want to use the the shows and stuff that's on F1 TV, you can do that too. Inside Stories, um, the Tech Tech Tuesdays and stuff like that. But now we're gonna I'm gonna show you how you can set up a template, so you don't need to set up all of the cameras on your screens every time you open the uh, a race. Uh, so we're gonna go to 2023 season and let's take, let's just take the Australian Grand Prix. We're gonna take race, uh, watch replay. Once there, when there's a live race, you can just, it will pop up in the home and you will just click watch live. So you can see here, you can open a saved layout. I have one here, F1 2023. You can see uh, here you have, you can also watch the international, which is with the English uh, commentating. And also, you, of course, the, the international commentators as well. Uh, but if you want, for an example, the Sky Sports uh, stream, you can do that here. Or if you just want the F1 live, which is what I, um, and then you have all of the onboard. So how do you do this? Um, you can open all, but I, you can check these boxes as well, which I'm going to do. So I want the F1 Live, I want the driver tracker, the data channel, and I want the Ferraris, Fernando Alonso, uh, let's just take Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. I have two monitors, but obviously I can't um, record both of them at the same time. So I will just use the space for one. And then you just click open selected. Also, okay, no, I, I also wanted Lance Stroll. Something like that. Um, and you don't want to check and open selected and open them all again. 
you just click uh, Lance Strolls here, and he will open in this little window. So the great thing about this is that it's synced. Everything is synchronized. So let's just, you basically build your pit wall however you like it. I'm going to, actually, let's wait. Um, here you can sync it, and you can just click sync open players. So let's say I want to move forward in the race. There's also a live sync uh, during the race. Uh, also, if you're clicked on a player and you just click S, it will sync. And if, so if you click any of the windows and you click S, it will, all the other windows will synchronize to that window. Or if you just click the sync, uh, configure sync and then sync open players, um, it will sync as well to that window. So you can just go ahead and build your pit wall however you like it. Build it however you like. I'm just gonna, and then you can also right click and click close. And then let's say when the race is over, you got the podium celebrations, you can just right click the main F1 Live here, right click it and then click close other players. So it will close everything else and then you just make it full screen. Be aware though that the more windows that you have opened, the more your CPU will suffer. So if you don't have that strong of a CPU computer, you won't be able to run that many windows. But if you have a decently strong computer, if you have like a, a 10th gen i3, you're able to run basically a whole monitor, monitor full of onboards. So that's something. Um, but I mean, if you have not that strong of a laptop, you're not going to be able to run it on, on like a Chromebook or something. Uh, so that's something to to note. So you can just play some like this. Here you have the data channel. Now I kind of miss. Yeah, I, it doesn't matter how how well it looks. And here you have the driver tracker, and then the F one live feed, of course. So maybe it looks something like this. Okay, now I'm happy. You go back into uh, multi viewer. You click save layout, choose the layout name and click save layout here. Now, every time you want to watch F1, you just click open save layout here, choose the layout. You can have different ones. Let's say you want to have one for the race, one for the practice uh, or something like that. Click open layout. I actually am going to close all the other players, close this player. You can just click close all players. Uh, <laughs> sorry. So now I'm going to open mine. This one is actually for two monitors. So on my right monitor, I have the driver tracker and the data channel. And I also place the, I'm actually going to open that, the replay live timing. Now we should actually maybe get into the race. I'm just going to. That man there, Lewis Hamm. Here we have the replay live timing that doesn't seem to synchronize. So I usually put that on my second monitor. Obviously, there's no space here. So yeah, this is basically a data channel. You got the radios, you got some the stewards things and everything like that. You can also hear speed light of the leaderboard and then some FIA documents, the tires and stuff. So it's basically similar to the data channel. But also not. It shows some of the data, but not every. And also, when you have the when you have replay live timing open, you'll see up here some some stats. So you can see the current gear, RPM, uh, fastest lap, last lap, interval and gap to leader, sector times, tire, tire age, many positions they've gained or lost, and um, if they have DRS turned on or not, or if they have DRS activated, sorry. And if you, let's say you don't want Leclerc, or for now an example, I usually do this during the races, that, okay, um, Leclerc DNF'd, and then I take, uh, I right click, click switch, or not click, I take my mouse over, switch stream, and I change it to maybe, who's uh, promising here? We got 
Nico Hulkenberg in P8. Oh, I want to watch him a little bit more. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like on the video.